so my goal was to upload a video every day this week, but I felt like shit. I still kind of feel like, okay, I'm getting sick. I'm not happy about it, but we will move on because such is life. So I wanted to talk about books today, and I finished Redeployment by Phil K. Clay. And this is a war story, as you can tell by this marine on the cover. And it's just like different war stories, like short stories interspersed throughout. Some of them were like gripping, like you felt like they tugged at your heartstrings. And some of them are like, okay, why was this included in this? I just felt like very like whimsical at some point. But then there were some stories where it's like you're in the nitty gritty of like the war scenes and you understand, like you, like. You feel like first person, like, you know, Call of Duty type thing. Like, when you're, like, playing it, like, if, but it's not a game, of course. Like, you feel like you're actually there, and that's that was intense. And it kind of made me respect what my cousin is doing, even though he's not, like, overseas. He is in the Marines, so it's, like, gave me perspective as to just a bit of what he's doing. So that was interesting. There was a lot of, like, terms and, like, initials to stuff that were, weren't explained, and I think that was kind of the point. It was kind of, like to jump in and like make you part of the world but yeah it was good I gave it a three out of five just because I did connect and then there was something I didn't connect with so if you were interested in something this is interesting to you definitely pick it up and then I picked up Lock In by John Scalzi I just I noticed that like I hadn't read a lot of guys so I just randomly start like all the books that I ordered from the library apparently were guys so this one's very interesting it's a sci-fi i'm still reading it i am 150 pages in and it's like this whole world that's um been overtaken kind of by the hayden syndrome and this is a whole like it reminds me of like i robot but in that humans have to use robots in order to get around because like the syndrome kind of like is like a, ver a version of meningitis or something like that with like it overtakes your like brain or something so you need like a robot in order to move around in there's one sleeping at your house it's so confusing i'm still trying to understand what locked in means because that's like the whole point like with the title and everything it's like the person's locked in their brain so they can't move so they have to use a robot but like a robot that looks like a human so like they can scan and all that like it reminded me of that the show almost human that's what i can compare it to like the cop is a like you know a robot but he still has like the human emotions and stuff like that so that's what like the main character is like so that's very interesting so yeah just wanted to let you guys know what i've been reading and i will talk to you guys about tv tomorrow and then music not music i lied movies and then friday is project for awesome i think i'm gonna talk about work i don't know exactly how i'm gonna frame it I have to think about it, but that'll be fun. I'm excited. My mom is coming on Friday with my brother, and I'm so excited. And my cousin, the one that's in the Marines, he got a baby, and the baby's turning one in January, but they're coming, what's today, the 9th? They're coming on the 10th and the 20th. So they're going to be here this weekend, so the family's all getting together from Jersey, from Rhode Island. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. But yes, that was a little update randomly. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Let me know what you're reading. What's up with you? Okay, bye.